Welcome to Storytime. Now this is a video that I was hoping would be a happy story, but well I guess you'll see. This is the story of my first time attempting to home develop film, specifically using CineStill's Monobar. Full of anxiety, I read through the instructions and watched 4-5 to five different videos on this process, but noticed it said nowhere about how to mix the chemicals. How long do I stir for? Do I wait till it goes clear? Is it okay if I don't stir it enough? All these questions were going through my head, yet I figured, with no info on it, it must be foolproof. So after getting all my equipment together, I poured the powder and mixed the chemicals, and started to hear a grinding sound, like large chunks of sand, but I thought nothing of it. Although as I began to stir longer, the sand wasn't quite mixing in, and I'd realised that something must be wrong. So I panicked and figured that the water must have been too cold. So I added some warm water to the sand, and mixed it in, and poured it back into the bottle. Now this gave me about 1.3 litres of chemical solution, and honestly it just looked wrong. But I'd come this far, and just sort of got to a point where I thought, fuck it, I'll just develop it anyway. So I got everything together and practiced loading my film. And so, while scared, I soldiered on. I warmed my chemicals, loaded my dark bag, and finally, started developing. So after four minutes of intermittent agitation, against all odds, there were images. And I was over the moon. And uh, here are the photos. Um, I just want to sort of explain a little bit about what I'm doing. Um, I'm only going to be doing one roll of 120. Um, you've already heard what happened to my 35mm roll and seen those photos. So this one, um, I hope it turns out. I'm terrified, but I need to do this. So everything goes in the dark bag. Film. 120 spool. Patterson tank. The reel in it. That should be everything that I need. Now for this noisy bag. Okay, so just map out where everything is. And now I want to load it onto the spool. I'm gonna keep looking at my wall. I should look at you guys. God, this is terrifying. Alright. On the spool. Alright. This is so. Terrifying, terrifying, terrifying. I know I shouldn't be this scared to do this. So I've taken the paper off. There's no more film. It's on, I'm done. So now I just need to put it onto my spool inside my tank. Oh! Hear that? Lock the tank, and I'm done. Studio clap, everyone. Studio clap. I wouldn't like roll the paper on. I know that's not a thing, but knowing me, that's something I would do. I'm now heating my chemicals to 24 degrees Celsius. Back now. Turn my light back there. Um, now I can pour my chemicals into here and we'll start to leave my phone to set a timer so I'm pour my chemicals probably should do this over the basin I'm just gonna do it here because she'll be right but definitely do it at a basin not at your desk next time you guys do it or next time I do it because I'm making a video and I can't be stuck moving my tripod more than I care about the safety of my stuff. So I also have too much developer, which is a problem. I completely forgot that I needed to not add as much in. So I'm gonna go ahead and fully seal this. Start my timer. 
and I'm going to agitate it every now and again. So after the four and a half minutes was up, I can now wash my film. So I just finished my film, and um, we have images yet again. Uh, it feels it feels fantastic to to be able to know that I can do it again. Um, I've got the photos drying at the moment, so I can't obviously show them yet. Um, I guess you can see them soon. Um, I can't, so I'm getting a bit hay fever. Um, but yeah, this has been a very stressful two days, um, as you heard me from my anxiety-ridden rambling. Um, but I've done it. Anyway, I just want to let it dry now, so I'm just going to go back to future me tomorrow. And yeah, thanks for, thanks for developing with me. I am so damn happy that this worked out. Honestly, I didn't think anything would come out on these rolls. I figured they would just come out blank, but despite me messing up the rolls, I guess you can say this thing still really have made it almost foolproof. So don't be scared about trying it. It really is simple. It's just very scary, but once you push through it, you'll come back with great images and honestly, a lot of pride. So thank you for joining me through this whole journey, and if you want to see more of my work, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which is at MIGmedia, and you can go to my website, which is MIGmedia.com. So, uh, hope to see you again soon.